everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're doing well. Hope your weekend was amazing. Mine was fun. Helped Mark build a little bit more of his house. I think we're going to see if we can get Mark on the old, on the old horn today. It's going to be an important conversation because um, we're talking about Dr. D. Dozen. And some of the videos that she deleted and the oversharing that's on uh, Quesadilla Gate and all these things that people have been talking about for the last couple of days. But what they did with their, with their plan was, and it was illegal, I guess we're going to look at it today. Alicia has no idea. There's so much content that she has put out there where she just records and doesn't edit. And it's, it's obviously coming back to bite her on the ass. So let's talk about it. Basically, what we've been going through is Alicia's old videos recently. A lot of people have been unearthing her old stuff and looking at that content because it's a gold mine of shit. Okay? Alicia has no idea what she's put on the internet. She's got a short memory, clearly, obviously, does not put a lot of effort into her content. So basically what she does, she turns the camera on and then just uploads that shit. It's crazy. So, so whenever I see a cut or an edit in her video, I'm thinking to myself, what did she cut out? Because of the shit that she leaves in, right? We're going to look at a bunch of that stuff today. The first one that's burning everybody's eardrums is this one called uh, Morning Mom of 10 Morning Routine. Somebody's been going through all of her videos, and it's not someone I paid, but I'm willing to pay someone to do that for me to find these things, okay? Because I have downloaded every single one of her videos just for even my own protection, because I think that in the end, when she does sue me, which I think is coming down the pike pretty soon, um, I want to make sure that I have all the content. She can't just delete it all that my lawyer and everybody else can see, you know, because if she's going to say, well, he said this about me. And I'm going to say, well, you showed me the thing. And so what I do here is called blind reacting. It's blind. It's called blind react and it's commentary. Okay. It's comedy. It's fun. It's serious, but it's blind reacting. I don't actually watch her videos. I watch them with you and you get my first impression, my first opinion based on the content that she puts into my eyeballs. Okay, so everything that you see here, I'm not lying. I'm giving you my opinion, right? But I'm not blatantly lying about anything that she does because I'm only I'm only reacting to what she's showing me. So all that to be said is that Alicia doesn't do any edits because she's lazy and she makes tons of money and she wants to do it the quickest way possible because, because even though she still does lazy content, it still takes up most of her life. Like you can't, if you go across all of her social medias, there's just no possible way she has any time to be a parent. When we see the amount of work that she's doing, and you know that she's a, she wouldn't let anybody else take control of any of this stuff because she doesn't want like third party editors looking at what is actually being recorded because she just turns a camera on and things just happen, right? She doesn't, she doesn't trust anybody. She makes people sign NDAs to even be in their circles, by the way. And yeah, it's coming out pretty soon. There are people who are getting up the gumption to come talk to me, I think, about these NDAs that are, that, you know, if you want to be here in this circle of the Doherty Dozen, you're going to have to sign an NDA. And that came late. That's probably her lawyer suggesting, saying, look, you don't, if you want to have people in your house and they're not going to go talk to Josh or anybody else who's covering you, then you're going to have to get them to sign NDAs. Now, I don't know how legal it is for children to sign NDAs, and I don't think she has done that, but I wouldn't put it past her. The skeletons in Alicia's closet are likely vast. Okay, because of the things that I'm learning and the people who are reaching out to me who want to stay anonymous. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, that's all coming down. So this is what happened with this this morning routine video. Basically, it's another, what is this, an hour, 40 minutes long of her making some breakfast like she always does really badly. She's the worst at that thing. She's not ironing a shirt, okay? I need to spend, like, just slowly mix that shit, please. Thank you. The hair's getting in it and shit. Oh, my God. I just, I can't do it. Is this our pumpkin banana loaf? Here's 80. Everybody gets one loaf each for breakfast. <laughs> one loaf is 8,800 calories. Bon appetit, bitches! <laughs> and those jeans. Freak, she's been doing this. This is like, I think a year old, this video or something like that. Is it? I don't know. I'm going to check. This video is one year ago and she's still wearing the damn jeans. By the way, it's interesting to point out. If you go back to her old videos, the, the dislike counter is only like 642 versus 9.6 thousand upvotes. So there you go. 642 downvotes. But if you go to any of her new videos, um, like family for a weekly grocery haul, this is her new stuff, Chicken. right? 
3.7 thousand downvotes. Like downvoting. People are downvoting her videos because that's that's their way of doing it. I think if you get if you get downloaded if you get downvoted like that, it kills you in the algorithm, and it's true. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. Just to say that she's been in the same shit for a year. And if Alicia was smart, and I don't know, I can't believe I'm about to give her advice, <laughs> but it doesn't matter anymore because I downloaded all the videos. She would go pay somebody to go through her content, like a lawyer. Or, I don't know, someone cheaper, because <laughs> lawyers are like $500, $600 an hour, um, to go through her content and say, okay, like, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, delete this, because uh, YouTube allows you to edit and delete things. Um, you can keep your content up, but you can take parts out, right? I've done it all the time when I've had to apologize or had to take something out that I shouldn't put in by accident. I do it all the time, okay? Um, and so she just doesn't. The fact that she just feels like, I just, I, whatever. I don't want to give you advice, but at the same time, I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> And then she brings out the old meds, shows what her kids take. Those are her kids' medicine every day. I don't know if, like, Alicia always cleans her counter with a dirty rag. <laughs> What's that one from Dockety Snarkety? If you guys have ever read it, go to Dockety Snarkety. Daily reminder to drink water. Yeah, a lot of people were upset with Alex, the I love hot mom shirt when his mom came over to visit. I know that's like a popular shirt teenagers have been wearing. I wore a like I love soccer mom shirt when I was younger, my 20s. Um, actually, my 30s. <laughs> that's the last one, even a teenager. But like, it's just a fashion trend. I don't think Alex is trying to make a point and try to be provocative with this thing. I don't think so. But we are going to take a look at what he does online matters um, today because we're looking at everything. It's it's a big it's a big day for Dockety. I might do a two parter. See this, but here you go. So she picks up the rag, drops on the ground, wipes it with her foot. First of all, she puts her foot on it after walking around her in a nasty house. Puts her foot on the towel to wipe something off the ground. Picks the towel back up. Puts it back on the rack. So she cleans a counter with that. Sorry, you're literally spreading diseases around your home. Now watch, which apparently I think what she does is she wipes her, now she wipes the raw eggs from her hands onto the already dirty rag that she used her feet to wipe up another mess on the floor with. Watch, watch, get ready for it after she touches cabinets and shit. And boom. Oh, eggs. It's like touching raw chicken and shit. Just stay away from that stuff. I thought she liked chickens. Anyway, that's the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Is that from the same video? First, Kathy. Yapples. Yapples. What a weirdo. Just putting all the meds. Here's all the medicine. I gotta show you something else too than this. I think someone's like, watch how she makes sandwiches. Okay, so don't forget that she just wiped the counter with a cloth. Likely that she touched with her feet and is nasty and then puts bread on the counter. Okay? Don't forget this. This is just the nastiest shit I've ever seen and it never gets old. It's so loud. Dixie, you're killing me. What's wrong with Dixie? You're killing me. It's too loud. People try to sleep. She keeps trying to rest her hand on my foot. Why are you loud? People get so mad at me when I do that. Josh, stop yelling. Guys, hear me out. I'm not going to stop yelling. It's the comment. It's part of it. It's just like, it's like breathing for me. Holy mayo. Why are you smashing shit? Ew, you, what? Delicia. Gonna drain that shit, man. What is your problem? <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god. Drain the tuna, please. She's so bad. I was like, you're such a good mom, Alicia. If you read the comments from this video, they're like, you're I can't believe you make meals for 10 people. That's because she doesn't drain the tuna. Ew, man. You're so why is the bowl so big? Apparently people were pointing out to you. I'm like, I like tuna. And you know, I eat tuna like once in a blue moon. 
and feeling it. You know what I love? Story time. Okay. Kathy's family is like, they all go to church. Okay. A lot of them are pastors and stuff and ministry and stuff, but they're all like churchgoers. Kathy's, some of her family go to this one church and they always have these like parties and stuff like for like big milestones. And I love these parties. Generally, I'm not a big, let's go to family reunion stuff. I'm not that type of guy. I don't like it, but I love these parties because they have church sandwiches. I'm not, you know, those, you know, what I'm talking about right. People who know, no, if you know, you know, there's similar funeral sandwiches. Okay. But they just, I don't know how these old ladies make these sandwiches, but there's just magic and love in these sandwiches. And it's just simple. They just, I don't know if they get a loaf of bread that doesn't have crust on it or something, but some of them roll them. They cut them in little triangles. They're tuna. There's ham. There's flakes of chicken. There's, and it's never like lunch meat. It's always flakes of something like tuna or ham or chicken or something or like cream cheese. And it's just, if there was a food truck that served funeral sandwiches, I would eat there every day. Okay. Just a big old bucket of funeral sandwiches. Yep, I, little soup dippers. Dude, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Anyway, there's a, there's a big party coming up for an 80th birthday or something. And they're like, who's coming? I'm like, I'm, is there funeral sandwiches? Cause I'm there. If there's funeral sandwiches, I'd be there. If you want to, if you need access to Josh Barber's heart, like you really want to get in there and you want to just be like my best friend forever, funeral sandwiches. Okay. If you know how to do them, cause I've tried to make them. It just doesn't have the same magic. I don't know if the, if the meat is ratio is off. I don't know, but that's what's going on with that. If you like me. Ew. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Tuna, right? So apparently I eat tuna once in a blue moon. I love it, right? But apparently this kid, whoever she's feeding this tuna sandwich to, maybe James, you should not eat tuna every day because of the mercury that's inside of tuna, right? I don't know if people know that. Lesson learned here. All tuna has some mercury, all tuna has mercury in it to some degree, and you can get mercury poisoning if you eat too much of it, right? She feeds this kid a can of tuna with like four tablespoons of mayo every day on one sandwich. And doesn't drain it. Watch. Boom. The whole damn can. And it's, ew, it's going to be all soggy and shit. Doesn't even butter the bread. Nothing. Nothing. You know, that buttering bread is actually a, a sign of love. It's part, it's one of the love languages. Buttered bread. You butter that bread first. It just adds to it all. People need to know that buttering bread it's a sign of love. Don't forget to dry your hands on that shitty rag. Ah, uh, that was a can, and you threw it in the garbage. Jerk. Oh my god, did she just put that on the other side of the tuna? Ew, ew. And she touches everybody's food! If these kids, you no, know, these kids gotta be sick all the time. Like all the time. Where did she put the mayonnaise? Where did she just put the mayonnaise? In a cupboard? Does she have a fridge under there or something? You need to refrigerate your mayonnaise. Refrigerate your mayonnaise! Ew, floppy cheese. This woman makes eight figures a year. Like, she makes millions of dollars a year, okay? And can't even buy real cheese to put on her kids' sandwiches? <laughs> she has 48 bags of cheese in the fridge, but buys shitty sliced cheese? Oh, so nasty. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna... F oh, there's the ketchup sandwich coming in. I'm actually nauseous watching this. Not kidding. It's the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. And watch, she'll cut every damn sandwich right now with the same knife. Mm hmm. That was uh, ketchup. That one's jam. That one's mayo and shit. Okay, cool. Thanks, mom. Cross contaminator. Anyway, whatever. Let's move on. No way these kids even eat these lunches because these lunch pails are cleaner than F. And we know that she doesn't clean them because she doesn't clean shit. 
unless she just buys a new one every day. But that's that's those are lunch pails of children who don't eat their lunches because <laughs> it'd be shit all over it. It'd be wet and be like, what is this? Is this what is this green gooey shit in here? <sighs> okay, right. here's your brown and sir. Here's your microwave shit sticks. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Damn it, it's so loud! Heck off. This is the video, I think, that she wipes her hands. It is the video! Here, the yogurt's just hanging. What is it that she's touching now? What is that? Okay, so Josh gets down after she's already been working a couple hours, and apparently this is where the shit hits the fan. And that's where I'm gonna bring Marky into this. You know, she, oh, she's gonna turn that blender on, and I'm gonna have a heart attack here. Okay. Uh, you can't have a product called Just Picked that's frozen berries. Was it just picked? That's a lie. It was picked and frozen and shipped. Probably just picked three weeks ago. Unless I know like little, tiny little writing at the bottom says three weeks ago. I just had an idea. Oh, Josh has an idea. Let's hear this idea. I'm so excited for this idea. Oh. Yes. See, I, I need to point out before I get to the whole thing is Alicia's doing this thing even with her husband, right? You're talking to her and she's busy doing stuff. That's fine. But she does this. She's very good at like ignoring you while you're talking to her and not engaging with you at all. Oh, really? Well, yeah. She doesn't know what he's going to say. And it's crazy. Okay. It's drastic. So prepare yourself. All right. Here's what we do. Okay. We adopt a bunch of kids. Right. Hear me out. We tell their story online. We exploit them and their medical issues and everything else. And we make bank. Right. Right. High five. <laughs> Assholes. What? Is the green giant at your house or something? Ho ho ho! Green giant. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy, he says. But what if? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We buy a big plastic tub mm -hmm. and we put it down there. Where? And we drain the wash water. You could do laundry. You drain the wash water in. You put a sump, you use a sump pump mm -hmm. and a hose and put the hose over across over into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> I can't believe they left this on the internet. They left it on the internet. You idiots. And you could pump the water out all the way over to there. Okay. Why don't you just pump it out into your own damn yard? So I'm pretty sure if you look at their backyard in videos, they have a pretty big backyard that goes down a hill and stuff like that. They have a pretty big piece of land. So why into your neighbor's yard? And clearly she's not listening. You wouldn't be able to do it when it's really cold, but you could do it. Yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're pumping out from your basement to the outside, you could do it when it's cold. You're, the water is in the basement. Some pump is pumping out. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. You could do at least a few loads. Yeah. It's drastic. I think it would work. We would just have to buy a sump pump and a hose and a bin. Okay, she cooks like shitty too. Low heat. Low heat. Low heat! Burning that shit. You don't care about your kids. Okay, is there more? We can try it. She's not listening to you. Sure, whatever. Yeah, it's against the law. Sure, sounds good to me. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, we put the pool oh shit, she's washing the strawberries. Listen to what she says. We put the pool water over there. Pool water. On their neighbor's yard. Why not your own? You can put it out to the street. What do you mean you put it in your neighbor's yard? Yeah. Ah, there it is, everybody. The neighbors would just have to not 
find out. She just said this on camera. You idiot. <laughs> it's so delicious. You're so dumb. They're just admitting on camera that they're going to do something illegal. And I'm going to bring Mark in in a second here and I tell you guys all about it. You know, how would you even see it? And what difference would it make to anybody? Because I do it over there. And the hose would run all the way across over to that over there. What difference does it make? Because it's not your property, assholes. You, everybody who thinks that these people are good people just need to listen to this video. They don't give a shit about anybody at all. And translates into them being that type of parent. They don't give a shit about people's privacy, about their kids' privacy, about the kids being bullied, which is going to be tomorrow's video because I'm not going to have enough time to do it in this video. But we're going to go through that. They don't give a shit. And we'll admit that they're breaking the law and like, well, the neighbors just can't find out about it. Now you're going to have the neighbors are going to find out about it. It's not using it. It's crazy. <laughs> It's illegal, but don't forget, Josh's brother is a really high up police officer in the state of New York, just so you guys are aware. Just saying. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, it is. But I like it. It works. Oh, it works, does it? Doing So you guys have a bad septic system. Instead of just fixing that shit up, you instead will break the law, and you're like, I like that idea. You can, you bought... $15,000 worth of iPhones for your children. You bought something like $30,000 of gifts at Christmas for your children. You know what your children need? Hot showers to be able to do dishes, to have laundry facilities at the house. Okay, that's what they need. And instead, you're literally, instead of just fixing the thing, which you can do easily, right? And I'm pretty sure Alicia's about to sue me and is going to spend tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars to sue me. Instead of just, you know... Helping your family, she will literally do anything else except for fixing the one thing that's so easy to fix, adds value to your home as well, by the way, right? She can add a double hot water, to whatever, talk to Mark about in a second, but I'm saying, ew, right? It's so gross what these people are capable of doing. I know this is like not a big, big, big deal in the scheme of things, but it's just the overall, it's just the addition to the shit that we already know. It never gets, it never gets better. There's nothing redeeming so far about these people. Oh, so they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. When Jordan pees his pants. When Jordan pees his pants. I've got to get that in the wash. Otherwise She's just admitting on camera, when Jordan pees his pants in his bed, I have to get that in the wash. I those clothes. Right. That doesn't leave. That stench doesn't leave. That stench doesn't leave. That stench doesn't leave. So it it and it gets all over the other things you wash with. They're literally sitting there telling you about their kid who pees his pants and how it gets all over everything in the house and the stench doesn't leave and it touches everything. This is what they're sharing on the internet. I know. Just gotta go back to wearing a pull-up. Nah, he's gotta go back to wear diapers now. That's what we have to do. Look at her face. You son of a bitch. Well, you'll just have to go back to wearing pull-ups all day long. You are an. Ugh! It can't happen. Just peeing all over every day. Oh. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind, remember that video she did? Mind your business. Mind your business. But I'm gonna tell my kids' business. Mind your business. Ugh. Cannot stand, cannot stand that she just did that. They're admitting that they're going to break the law because they need to do laundry because a kid pisses his pants all day long. Wow. Why don't you just fix your septic? If that's such a big deal in your home, it caused a lot of people consternation and him is constantly the shame that he probably feels too, by the way, is ridiculous. And the fact that you put that on the internet is there forever. Now it is there forever. You such a dink hole. Mm. Alicia. You a hole. And by the way, before Mark gets on here, um, this is what someone said sent me in my Instagram. Um, I think it's from Doherty Snarkety page. Basically says that if this, I don't know, it can be confirmed, but the neighbor apparently is leaving a comment in the video says, "We are their neighbors. 
The county health department was called last year and this was taken care of. Yes, this is illegal and it will become an annual call to the county by us. I don't know if it's true or not, if that's can be corroborated, but neighbor, if you're watching this, please reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Hey everybody, you know Mark, he's my bro, my ride or die, he's hot, he's a home builder. He's actually sitting in the home that he's building right now. You almost, it looks good, dude. I was there, hey, I basically you. did the backsplash myself on uh, the weekend. I just sat there on my phone while Mark did it all, but uh, looking good, bro. Okay, so here's a question, Doherty doesn't just admits on camera that they pump their gray water. So Josh wants to do is for laundry services, his laundry, he wants to dump the gray water from the laundry, which they just admitted is just to wash piss clothes, by the way. She just admits that her kid pisses pants and wants to wash piss clothes and take all that water, put it in a bin and pump it into their neighbor's yard. How does that make you feel? Well, that's that's no good. You can't pump gray water on the property here in Ontario anyways. Well, I mean, that's going to be everywhere, right? So they're breaking the law for sure. They say they also pump their pool water into their neighbor's yard. Just pump in your own damn yard. Anyway, so the, the whole thing stems from their issue of having a shitty septic tank, no pun intended. Now, what does a... No, they, they make tons of money. We know it. They spend all this money. What is stopping them from getting a septic tank? What would it cost them? Look, if they lived here where you are, what was the cost to replace a septic tank? How hard is it? Yeah, it'd be about five grand. It's a big job. You got to bring it excavators. You got to tear up your yard. It's it's gross. What happens to your property? Okay, but in the end, you're gonna have be able to have hot showers. You're gonna be able to like. There's not gonna be any. You know, you're gonna be able to do your laundry and everything else, right? The septic tank is probably one of the most important parts of a home if you don't have sewer. Yeah, but the problem they have is actually their leach field is probably uh, come to the end of its life. They need to have it re-aerated or dig that up and replace it. Okay. So I'm guessing the septic tank is just the tip of the iceberg for that. Jeez. And, but we know they can afford it, so why don't they fix it? Like the same thing when it comes to this laundry stuff and all this stuff. Uh, can you also have in, in a home that has a lot of people, is there a way to have it so you have unlimited hot water and do all these things that like, make people's lives a little bit better, but they don't do it? You're foster dad. What would you yeah. do if you had 12 kids that you had to have hot showers? What would you put in your home that makes their life a little easier? I would probably put a boiler in or something like that so you can never run out of hot water. Is that what it is? A boiler system. Simple, right? Yeah. Mark, okay, so just I'm going to brag on Mark for a second. He literally has a, his garage floor is heated. That's how a baller Mark is. It's a f heated garage. It's so sweet. Anyway, Mark, I just wanted to run that by you. Just get your thoughts on it because I know that you know what you're doing. How much value does it add to a home if you're selling it to? Well, they don't really put a price tag on septic because that's just something that's expected. So if you don't have an updated septic, whatever it's going to cost, they're going to get quotes. And that's going to come off the value of your house. That's right. That's so right. Yep. It's about five grand and put to do your whole septic. It's like probably closer to 30, but mm -hmm. you know, just the tank is about five grand. But they don't, you're saying they won't need to do the whole thing. You're saying they just need to do the, well, I would say they need to aerate their bed and bring it back to life. But oh, okay. I don't know. For sure. Okay, because like if you think about it, it's probably because they they overuse it, right? So in your opinion, if you were to say take a wild stab in the dark, the 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 issues plaguing them in their system is because they overuse it. Oh, for sure. Okay, for sure. It's your home isn't designed to have twelve people in. Yeah. If it's a three bedroom home, it's designed to have four people. Yeah, that's right. True. So Marky Mark, he knows his shit, man. This guy knows his onions. And look how hot he is. Thanks, Mark. I love you, buddy. I will see you uh, in a couple weeks. See you, Josh. Marky Mark chimes in and he's a nice guy. Mark's, you know, he's not trying to be all like Mark isn't the type of guy that has like anger for anybody. He's such a nice guy. And so he's just trying to look at it from a perspective of a home builder, somebody who's going to fix things who knows what he's doing. And so he needs to aerate their bed, whatever that means. It sounds like it's just been overdone and it needs to just be, be brought back to life. I don't know what that means, but he knows what he's talking about. And I believe him because he's hot. And another thing too, I don't, I wonder if they do have a boiler. So, he, but Mark's point is really, really important there. And that's probably a point we need to be looking at with foster systems and adoption systems too. Her like, Hey, you have 12 people in your house. Do you have the facilities for 12 people? Not just bedrooms. Cause you can just tack on bedrooms here and there like they have done. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure some of those bedrooms don't have legal egress, which I'm pretty sure you have to have, especially if you're adopting or fostering. When we adopted, Okay. They came into our house and is like, you need this, 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 you know, fire extinguisher there, that. And I get that. Right. And they're doing that because they want to make sure you're safe. Do you have a fire evacuation plan? Do you have all this stuff in place? And we have to put all those things in place before we can adopt. It's called a home study. Okay. And it needs to be done. When these home studies happen at the Doherty house, are they like, okay, well, you don't even have a hot water boiler. So how is everybody going to have a hot shower if they want to have a hot shower? Hey, what's up? 
Like I would suggest, my suggestion, their first thing they should do is start using septic friendly laundry detergents and stuff oh, like that. Like smart. if they're just using like Dawn or whatever, like they're, they're going to be kicking the crap out of their septic system. Interesting. You know, I'm guessing they're just completely ignorant to what it takes to live on a country property, you know, like to put that much through their system that you're doing your laundry is like the hardest thing on your septic system. Interesting. Right? Okay. Cause there's nothing that breaks down in it. Like, like poo breaks down and disintegrates and does all that. You know, when you put soap in, in mm -hmm. septic, all mm -hmm. it does is sits there. It creates a film know? and stuff like that and then builds up. Exactly. And it makes the rest of your stuff not break down, right? Mark, so there's so you're much such little smart. stuff that you do. You're such so. a smart beauty. You're a beauty. Okay, cool. Bye. Love you. There you go, Dr. Dustin. If you're looking for some advice, people who have septics, use septic-friendly materials. And you know they don't. Because they're highly wasteful. Anyway, what was I? What was I talking about earlier? Oh yeah. And so when they bring in the when they go in for these home tests and these these whatever to say, hey, look, do you have fire extinguishers? Which I again, I've never seen anything like that in their house. I hope they do. But this house isn't built for fourteen people, right? And so these kids aren't actually even living in a facility that supports them. If you look at all the other families that do this on YouTube, at least they have mansions. Okay, at least they have massive houses that can support their privacy if they want it. They can support having a hot shower if they want it. This family can't even do dishes or laundry. They can't even do laundry. They can't even do that stuff because she's so busy. So the only time she gets out to the laundromat to do the piss soak stuff, okay, is when it's too late and the whole house permeates and smells of pee. Alicia, for the safety and well-being and cleanliness of your home, fix your septic tank, a eh ho! And stop breaking the law, if she is breaking the law. If that neighbor is the one who's saying that, and that's true, that we're looking at this and we check every week, year, that's just a chachi thing to do. And admit on camera. What a bunch of idiots. Idiots. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, Alicia. You just keep getting better. Which is, but it's worse. Better. Dummies. And Josh is sitting here thinking about how he can screw over his neighbors. When someone shows you who they are, you believe them. I mean, we know who they are considering everything that we've seen, okay? And it just keeps getting worse. And you know there's more out there. There is thousands and thousands of hours of content that she has put out there that she has no idea what she has said. It's crazy what people are finding. So thank you to uh, Quesadilla Gate for finding stuff like this. Appreciate it. People who are sending me videos, appreciate it. I have all the videos. I just haven't had time to go because I don't have time. And so that's just the nature of it. So, but thank you for being here in the Dad Challenge Podcast, for following me during this journey. Um, Stay tuned for what's coming down the pike with Doherty Dozen. I think there's something happening soon. I'm just, I want to make sure it's all ready to go before I tell you everything. So um, it's going to be a crazy fight. Let's just say that. But uh, thank you for being here and fighting with me and being an amazing part of this journey and this collective that we have here where we stand up against the exploitation of children online. It's a big, big conversation we're having here and it's getting bigger. And you're beautiful, amazing, just super valuable. Learn to forgive yourself and love yourself more. Okay, don't fly flare either, and I'll see you tomorrow.